We need a transformation in economic thinking. We can no longer rely on GDP alone. It has considered the contribution of nature to be free and essentially limitless throughout its history. In 2017, the Natural Capital Accounting and Valuation of Ecosystem Services, or NCAVES project, was launched by the United Nations Statistics Division and United Nations Environment Programme in collaboration with the Secretariat for the Convention on Biological Diversity as well as a range of national stakeholders. NCAVES was funded by the European Union through a programme to address major global challenges such as the loss of biodiversity. NCAVES has supported governments in Brazil, China, India, Mexico and South Africa to build up their natural capital accounting capabilities and to apply them to policy. Natural capital accounting uses a framework called the System of Environmental Economic Accounting, or SIA, to provide a systematic way of measuring nature's contributions to society and the economy. The SIA accounts for ecosystem assets and services in biophysical sense. For example, how many tons of carbon are stored in a forest? And in a monetary sense, such as by measuring the economic value of the services provided by pollinators. Brazil has made the headlines with the release of its ecosystem extent accounts, showing that Brazil has lost nearly half a million square kilometers of its original vegetation in the last 18 years. Brazil also used the NCAVES project to focus on its endangered species using the spatial aspects of ecosystem accounting to provide information for purposes of planning future development. In China, the provinces of Guizhou and Guangxi compiled ecosystem service accounts covering a wide range of benefits provided by the environment. These were summarized into a holistic indicator called Gross Ecosystem Product, which measures the contributions of nature to people. And the NCAVES project also contributed to regional ecological compensation schemes which provide incentives for ecosystem protection. In India, NCAVES has supported the country to build their capacity to compile a range of ecosystem accounts, which have now been reported annually since 2018. India also explored ways to use the SIA ecosystem accounting standard to report on four targets within the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And in addition, India organized a national NCA forum, which brought together more than 1,000 virtual participants. Mexico has completed a countrywide natural capital assessment, which also includes economic valuation of the contribution of a number of its key ecosystem services, such as carbon sequestration and nature-based recreation. Mexico now has integrated data on the extent and integrity of its biodiverse ecosystems, which have been used to compile a natural capital index of all its habitats for policymakers to use in planning. In South Africa, NCAVES helped in compiling a number of natural capital accounts, including accounts for protected areas that track the development of South Africa's protected areas as a conservation asset over a 120-year time period. I think NCA can be a powerful tool for assessing how effective we're being as government in our interventions with natural resources and especially with where natural resources are directly supporting people and the economy. In South Africa, the NCAVES project supported the development of a 10-year national strategy to advance natural capital accounting to provide credible evidence for integrated planning and decision-making in support of the development needs of the country. The success of the NCAVES project has contributed towards the SIA ecosystem accounting being adopted as a new international statistical standard by the UN Statistical Commission in March 2021. Our natural capital can now be reported in an internationally consistent, coherent and comprehensive way in a way that is compatible with national accounts. The UN Common Agenda urges all member states to start implementation of the SIA ecosystem accounting, thereby going beyond GDP. And the NCAVES project has helped set a foundation for monitoring an ambitious global biodiversity framework. Making peace with nature is a defining task of the 21st century. Natural capital accounting has an important role to play in recalibrating our relationships with nature.